Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of our Satisfactory Let's Play here on Update 8. I have finally finished putting walls, and I even put a roof on our starter factory. It still has no windows because we still have no courts, but you can't have everything. It's, it's an actual building now, so that's great. Although it's probably going to get a rebuild for the third time in a few days, so we'll see how long this stays as it is. Anyway, some other things that we've got going on here. We're going to be doing a, another button pushing montage of all the tier 3 uh, milestones. We're also going to be building a steel foundry today. And then after that, we're going to do a super secret other build that we will get to. So let us start. All right, now let us uh, take a little peek at all of these milestones we just unlocked and see what they actually do. All right, so back in tier three here, we got vehicular transport, which unlocks the tractor, which is adorable. I'll show you one of those in a minute. The truck station, which lets you uh, take, say, goods from a miner or from a factory, and you load it into the truck station, the truck, the tractor, in this case, uh, comes along, picks it up, and drives it somewhere else. Also, we get extra inventory slots. Yes, want more of those? Absolutely. All right, now let's go over to basic steel production. Unlocks the foundry. Steel ingots, steel beams, steel pipes. Um, the next uh, space elevator part, the versatile framework. I'm not going to worry about now. And also new products in the awesome, uh, awesome shop. All right, so we're going to be building our steel factory in a little bit. We're going to be using these foundries to do it. And then next we got improved melee combat, which includes an extra hand slot, more inventory slots, yes, and the Xeno Basher, which is basically just a better version of our taser. Now let me show that off real quick. That's basically a sword instead of a taser, so that looks cool. It's nice. And now let me show you guys the tractor. This thing is so cute. Let me put some uh, fuel in it here. Uh, coal, let me use coal to power it, because why not? And you can just drive around with it. Very adorable. Also, it holds quite a bit of space, so that's nice. It also has a crafting bench too attached to it. So basically it's like a mobile crafting bench that has a pretty large inventory slot. I think it's 25. I think it's 25. Anyways, let us drive down south here and we're gonna be heading down over to here where the coal and the iron are. So let's head down there. Actually, this thing uh, moves pretty quick. Got some air time, too. Nice. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> we just ran that guy over. Although, he'll get back up. Or, or will he? Oh. Oh, I think he's just dead. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> oh. I just blinked out of existence. He didn't die. He just... Oh, actually, no, he did die. He died as soon as we hit him. I did not know that would... Oh, this thing is still here. That is very annoying. The last time I came through here and killed uh, this guy, the... Uh, you know, this got stuck, like, in the node, and I can't pick it up. I'm very, very sad about that. But anyways, <laughs> that's fine. All right, so we're going to be building our steel plant. Our steel plant around this area. So we're going to have to clear the trees and 
Let's see, where's the coal node? The coal node is... Yeah, the coal node's over there. So we're going to bring the coal node over here, up to this flat area. And we will build our steel factory right around here. All right, so let me clear all of these trees and start working on the foundation. And we will come back after that. Foundation is down. I got the iron miners hooked up and ready to go. Both of them are overclocked to 200%. So we're getting 60 iron out of them a minute each a minute because they are both impure nodes and that's just unacceptable also i have the coal hooked up and ready to go so this is going to be sending us 120 coal up here a minute all right so how we're going to do this is i'm going to lay out the foundries right along here leave a little space uh I guess that'll work. Do not like the size of these machines. <laughs> so I'll have these guys lined up right here. Also leave a little room for future expansion if we need it. But then the coal and the iron will eat into here in the back. Also we gotta set these up right now. So they're gonna be underclocked to 88.89% which means each machine will require 40 of iron and coal a minute, which gives us a perfect 120. Let us set these up real quick. Nine. It's actually a very simple factory. Well, I guess it, I'm going to call it a foundry because that's kind of what it is. It is a foundry. All right, so then the 120 steel is going to come out of here and we are going to send it along this way then we're going to have our instructors spinning out products that way so let's see here let us put the constructors right here i guess start one here one there and we will put one here. So we're going to do two steel pipes, which require 30 steel ingots a minute and gives us 20 steel pipes. We're going to do two of those. And then we are going to do one steel beam, which requires 60 steel ingots a minute and gives us 15 steel beams a minute. So I'm just going to set it up like this just to make it life easy. So we send all 120 down here. We hook them in in a manifold. And then they spit out their steel products this way into bins, which I'm sure I'll put over here or something. I might actually use the truck transport and send the finished products over to our little storage area down by our starter factory. But for now, I'll just uh, lay them out and put the put the bins over here for now all right so we want storage container I'm not even gonna have them poking through the walls or anything I'm just gonna have them here and ready to go now let's stick one here and one here all of the day So that means I need to have you guys merge and go into there. Go to there. Go to that one. And you are going into that one. This isn't super space efficient currently, but that's fine. I just want to get it up and running and everything going so I can start making steel and we can start progressing into tier four. All right, so how do I want to hook these guys up? Okay, there was some hemming and hawing going on, but I finally have, excuse me, sir, I'm trying to talk. I have all of the foundries hooked up and ready to go. I actually turn them on just to see if everything was working. It looks like we are in production so now I just need to 
have everything go over to the constructors and we are rocking and rolling here at the steel foundry. We want a splitter. Actually, no, we want a merger. We have to merge you guys that way. Merge you guys that way. Mark one belt, mark one belt. Oh, okay, now we got the Thought that was gonna go poorly. Need a Mark II belt here. Then a Mark II belt over this way. Let me get the uh, mergers and splitters all hooked up first and then we'll get that going there. Splitter, put you off. Put you off, then you do not require a splitter. Yeah, you're only taking 30, right? Yeah, so you're taking 30, you're gonna take 30, and then you're gonna take the 60. All right. All right, easy peasy. We got steel ingots coming down the line. Oh, I might want to turn these on too. Yee. All right, that's it. That is our steel foundry running. Let's just make sure everything's good to go here. Right, until this gets backed up, the last machine down there is going to be running at less than peak efficiency. But that's all right. Only thing we're losing is a bit of time. And this game, you have infinite time to do whatever you want. So it's f oh, my God, I've made a mistake. <laughs> As you guys can see. Oops. Oops. I, oh, actually, no, I didn't need to delete that. I should have just swapped the productions, but... Oh, well, too late now. <laughs> too late now. Oops. You guys merged up. You to there. You to there. You into there. Silly, silly me. Why I do a bunch of this stuff off camera so you don't see me making a fool of myself. All right, so yeah, that's it. We're now getting all of our products out of here. So we're making steel beams. I'd like to go up. Oh, thank you. Making steel beams and steel pipes. All right. So now we can start unlocking our tier four milestones, such as the one I have almost done, except for the steel pipes up there, advanced steel production, which lets us make encased steel beams, which I'm unsure what they are used for, but we will be making them very soon. All right, I got the steel tubes and we're ready to launch for advanced steel production. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container, enhanced conveyor belt efficiency, as well as the ability to store excess power for later use. Oh god, we An can make minor Mark IIs now. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. Oh, I actually forgot that these were in here. Basically, this means we could remake all of our factories just because the miners will now be doing can the minor mark twos can do double the production of what the normal miners are doing <laughs> oh no also we want to unlock uh, logistics mark 3 ASAP because the mark 3 belts which transport 270 resources a minute 
will be very useful for us. So that's definitely going to be our next milestone. And we just have to get some more steel beams. And we can have that unlocked as well. Well, since I've got three minutes to kill before we could unlock Logistics Mark III, let me show you something else I unlocked. I unlocked the Nobelisk, which is basically TNT. And another thing I can show off is here in Update 8, they added it so you could blow up these gas cloud maker things, whatever the hell they're called. Boom! Goodbye, gas cloud. Logistics Mark Three is a go. All right. Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. So, basically, unlocking advanced steel and now Logistics Mark Three makes all of our existing factories pretty obsolete. They can all be rebuilt with minor Mark II's and 270 belts. Which, uh, I'm really looking forward to. Alright, anyways, we had one more project we're gonna take on today, so we're gonna head over there and we're gonna do that. Well, 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 what is this we have here? This is the super secret thing that I was gonna build after I made the steel factory. This is factory that is making us black powder and also compact coal. So over in this room here, we've got sulfur and coal being turned into black powder, which we need for our novelists. Currently making 60 of this a minute. Probably way, way more than we will ever need, but that's fine. And in this room over here, we have three machines making compacted coal for us. Now compacted coal is going to be used as a fuel source. We can use it in our uh, vehicles. We can also throw it in our coal power plant. Although I don't know exactly how the math and logistics are gonna work on that. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. So yeah, I set up this cool little base here. It's still an ugly box while I don't have a bunch of cosmetics to use. But eventually this will be a cool secret little base off in the off in the corner of the map that makes explosives. <laughs> so we want to we want to make it sort of seem like it's a dangerous place you don't want to go. And then I also started messing around with the truck station. So I have a truck, actually it's coming back now, that's uh, dropping off the black powder and the compacted coal over by our starter base. I gotta fix this guy's path, he gets stuck on that hill there, so I'll have to take care of that afterwards. But, so he'll come in, come back to the base here, or come back to the factory here grab whatever is in the truck station you know not much right now but he'll grab all of that and then he'll drive back to our base Let's see we'll wait for him to show up here oh i see him i see him coming it's loaded in completely Well, hello, little buddy. Yeah, he's gonna drive on up. He's gonna pick up the stuff. Up oh, here's picking up the stuff. And he's gonna wait here for like 10 seconds or something. Then after that, he's gonna drive off and away back to our base. Let's head over there right now. Not gonna wait for him because he actually drives pretty slowly. We got some air time here. Woo! I have no idea if we can make it up this incline. Okay. Oh, never mind, we're good. We're good. Honestly, it's not a huge trip to the base from over there. It takes the 
tractor like a minute to get there either direction. But it also means that our goods are being brought over to our starter base. I might do the same thing with the steel plant. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Just wanted to test it out with the black powder and see how that went. Plus, I wanted to make the compacted coal so we'd have a fuel source. And here we are over back at base. He drives up over here, brings the stuff to this truck station, which is all just currently getting dumped into an awesome sink because I have nothing to do with the stuff. Oh, so, yeah, here he comes. Gonna drive around and up and then back down. stuff off and it's gonna get oh wow this thing is completely loaded I got a minute oh also one thing I thought because uh, it has two inputs and it has two outputs here so I thought if I separated them one and one that they would uh, you know split themselves smartly but no it, it didn't so unfortunately until I get smart splitters all of the stuff will get dumped into this one bin and then I have to either like manually sort it or, you know, just leave it and let the awesome sink eat all of it. So one of the next goals is definitely going to be to get smart splitters. And for that, I need Caterium. So I think I'm going to tap into that Caterium node over there. Or this one, I don't know, probably this one down here. And then I will start making myself some quick wire as well. Right, yep, so this was the truck station and our black powder factory. Let me go deal with our quick wire situation. Alright, so I'm over at the Caterium node. I've got it up and running. I've got our tractor loaded up with the first full load of Caterium ore. Now we're going to drive this sucker over to the copper plant where we will be making our Caterium wire. I'll do the automated trip for this thing later on. I just want, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just wanted to bring the ore over there and get it loaded into the plant so it gets up and running. So what is my other truck doing? Hello, sir, are you okay? Alright, so our Caterium ore is getting unloaded. Wonderful. I don't know if I actually have to stay in this to unload it, so I will. And then after that, we will go check out the quick wire part of the factory. It's uh, actually really simple. It's just six machines. So these ones are working at 100%. This one in the middle is only working at 66% just due to the way the math works out. So that we end up with 120 uh, Caterium ore. And then they go off into the machines here, the constructors here. We got two at 125% and then one in the middle there at 83%. And then after that, they send a hundred and hundred ninety quick wire. Wait, wait, my math is bad. They send two hundred quick wire up over to the top floor, where it then goes through the building and comes out the other end into its own bin down here next to the other ones. So, not getting 
copper sheeting anymore. I had to move the copper sheeting around. I'll have to go fix that in a minute, it looks like. Actually, let me just go do it now. I don't know what I broke exactly, but it should have been hooked back up. Well, the inside here hasn't changed much. I just, uh... I'd say you guys are just stalled out. Alright. Hey, everything's covered up. That's fine. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I did end up changing the stairwell. Alright, what is wrong? Oh, I didn't repower you guys. My bad. I forgot to give these guys power after I unhooked them. Where is... Oh, there it is. One for you. One for you. And one for you. Alright, so our copper sheets will be going again. And yeah, this is just what it looks like on the inside. I just had it going along the roof here, and down and outside. Take the shortcut out here. Back down to the bottom. Alright, so that is our steel plant, our steel foundry, our black powder factory, and our quick wire. All done in one episode. Though, so one question I have for you guys, I would like uh, anybody that is in the know to tell me is, with the truck stops, they have a fuel bay, and I don't know the best way to actually get fuel into them. Uh, yeah, so they got a fuel bay that you can put fuel in, which will refuel the trucks, and it also has a input here so that it could fuel the trucks. But my question is, what's like the best way to get it so that all of the truck stops are getting fuel? If anybody could uh, give me a good answer on that, that would be very appreciated. And with that, everyone, that's gonna have to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again next time.